Alright, what's up everybody? So we're here back uh, in the Crimson Court. Uh, I know we took a little bit of a break uh, to go explore the cove, and if you haven't seen me fight the fanatic, you should definitely go check that out. I get my ass whooped. Um, but anyway, we're back here in the Crimson Court, and like I said, I was working on a flagellant, so uh, we'll be testing him out. I'm sure you guys have already played as him, or heard about him, or explored him, but uh, here's the showcase that I'll be doing, uh, Crimson Court and um, Flagellant. Uh, here I tried to take like the most overpowered team I could. Uh, I couldn't decide on if I should take the Houndmaster, Jester, or Plague Doctor for a slot 3. Um, but I decided on the Plague Doctor since I think he has a really good matchup <coughs> in uh, Crimson Court because everything is mostly everything is susceptible to stun and blight. Um, and uh, yeah, with Yop and Stun Grenade or whatever it's called, um, the I think the enemy teams are gonna be struggling to uh, move. Uh, just because I have so many stun options, even with the Vestal as well. Um, unfortunately, I missed the bleed there. I'm trying to kill this guy first because uh, he can cause uh, some kind of debuff um, that lasts until camp, and we don't have a campfire. So that would be very. No! I have blood for you! <laughs> um, damn, that sucks. You sh that shouldn't be able to happen. It, it should be that you waste without um, an RNG effect. Um, no! Uh, as long as he doesn't uh, weaken prey. That's, that's the move that... Um, no! <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it lasts... I thought it lasted um, for multiple rounds. But okay. I mean, I thought it lasted until camp. Maybe maybe that's changed? Maybe I'm mistaken? Um, that's good though, that's good to know. So then is this guy even that dangerous? Uh, suffer, okay. I'm still getting used to the flagellant attack. Okay, so let's talk about the flagellant. Um, as I said in a previous video, um, I'm not sure how I feel about him, because he's, he's pretty good, but having him be in the having him be in the uh, second slot um, is a little is a little difficult because I think it's correct to make a to make him uh, function in the second slot because um, three and four are already like so contested between um, the grave robber and the plague doctor and the hound master and the jester and the vestal and the occultist um, so I think it was I think it was a good move by Dark Ascension creators to put him in the second slot. Uh, I don't think they're if they made him in the first slot, that would have been a good one too. Um, but then that would have um, that would have contested him with the Helion, which I guess the Flagellant can um, function in the in the first slot. But um, there's really no reason to put him in the first slot over the second slot because he doesn't gain any extra abilities. Oh, hello. Okay, so crocodile. So okay, so I I've tried not to spoil um, the Crimson Quirk for myself too much. Uh, like I don't know what a lot of stuff does, but I went on to Reddit really quick and I saw a lot of people were having trouble with the crocodile. That's why in my first video I was like, oh, crocodile's too easy. Um, but that was a level one crocodile. This is a level two crocodile or a level three crocodile. My bad. Um, so we'll see what's up with this. So he has a 70 resist, I have 130 plus, so I have 170, so 100% chance to stun him. Are we in there? We're in there, alright. But he does have two turns, so I'm not sure if that was the best use. Um, because I do want to start stacking lights on him. Nah, bro, you're good. Mmm. Critical hit. That's super good because this is going to last a lot of turns, and whenever bleeds get critical hits, it increases the amount of turns that you uh, cast the blood for. Wow! Accuracy. Oh, I should have brought the Jester! Okay, I think we're going to start healing already because I know this guy can get a little crazy. Um. 
But yeah, so the flagellant, I think him being in the second slot, good idea on the Darkest Engine creators. Uh, do I want to use my herbs? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Um, and I think what I wasn't, uh, when I was discussing him last time, I wasn't really aware that, um, he could target the third slot, um, which actually changes my opinion of him because, uh, since he can target the third slot, he can actually, like, they have, like, a high priority unit in the third slot, like, anybody who causes stress or whatever, um, then... Now, now, now I know that he can hit them, which is important, but he still can't hit the fourth row, which is a little, um, disappointing. Oh, hello. Um, but I mean, you, most second slots can't really hit the fourth row, like the bounty hunter can't hit the fourth row. Um, uh, I'm not sure if the abomination can or not. Um, uh, anyway, let's get, let's check this out. So I will let the bleed tick down, because I do have battlefield medicine, and, um, the flagellant kind of wants lower HP. Also, I want to start stacking damage over time on this dude, uh, which we are doing, so that looks great. Do I want to battlefield medicine? No, I want to stack lights. Okay, cool. No! We lose Iron Swan, but that's not a big deal, because this guy loses a lot, so we don't, like, want to... we don't want to like get tunnel vision. Okay, cool. And also, yeah, since he shuffles my team, um, that is also a possibility. So right here, I could transfer the bleed onto my guy, but I don't think that's a good use of the turn. I'd rather just focus this guy down. Cool, good. Nice. 21 damage repent submerge. You protect him. He buffs his own shizzy shiz. Oh, and he heals. I think that might be new. No, bro. You're good. Shut up. I don't know if I want to heal this guy or not. Because he can heal himself. He can only heal himself by target. With my current loadout, he can only heal himself. Um, a certain way, though. But I think I will let... I will try to go for it. Uh, still exploring the flagellant, so... We'll see... What this oh, nice. Plus 3 crit, plus 20 damage. Oh, if only I could target the third row. That would have been good. Nice damage and crit. The crit modifier, super good. Debuff, minus flea resist. Apex Predator. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Destruction, damn. Alright, we need to. That was not Bowman. What am I at? I'm a, I'm a bandage because I am scared. Um, I hope this is game. I feel like this should be game. Because he has hella. Um, Hella bleed. Um, snippy snap. Okay, so please. No, <laughs> I need heals, bro. <laughs> okay, did he heal himself? So he's taking ten, no matter what. So he's taking 10, which means we need to do 15. Critical hit, please. Oh yeah, let's go, bro. Let's freaking go! He's dead. Oh, bleeds him, wow. Yes, please. Um, Alien, obviously. She's like, almost dead. And then, we can just... He's dead, right? I, I'm not counting this one. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Um... So that's the crocodile, yeah. So again, crocodile. Besides that one critical hit, that, like, does this happen? It wasn't too stressful. I'm gonna heal Helion, even though they're all at 16 and she has a higher HP bar, but just because I'm afraid that um, her she's gonna be subject to more high damage attacks by being in front. That's cool. Um, what is this? Forgotten strong books. You are sure this box holds something worthy of your accomplishments. Oh boy. Wow, really? I'm scared. Oh, thankfully. Antiquarian. I hate the antiquarian. I don't have an antiquarian and I don't have an arbalist. 
this this way is not fruitful at all. Nice scout. Oh, look at that long hallway. That has to be that's that that's not the Baron, or else it would have had a different symbol. Um, damn, that was super hype. That, uh, you guys can probably hear it in my voice, but that was just like freaking amazing. That was actually that was like a, a hard fight. It felt rewarding, which I love. Like that's why that's why Darkest Dungeon is so good because yes, the difficulty is hard, but it just feels good. Nice scouts. Who's scouting? Okay, so there's another key. Uh, I hope it's. I hope the key is not somewhere down here, because I didn't explore these two rooms. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, so back to the flagellant. Um, he has this. Um, so he he can like also function as like, um, as like a kind of like healer tank kind of thing, because he can he can heal your stress. But his stress heal, in my opinion, at least what what I've ex um, experimented with so far, his stress heal is only good alongside a Chester, because the way his stress heal works is he heals somebody for 14, at least at this level, and then he takes 7 stress. So he will be taking lots of stress, um, which... I'm changing this because my deeds are a little low. Actually, I don't need, think I need this. Especially with Battlefield Medicine, I don't really need this. Um, and uh, you can see that I don't have his Stress Heal equipped, because I think his Stress Heal is only good when you have either a Vestal, I know a Vestal, a uh, Crusader, or a Jester, because you need somebody to be able to consistently um, heal his Stress. And if you can't, then uh, he's just going to amass a bunch of Stress, which is not good. Um, so right here, what we're going to do, so this little uh, guy can be pretty threatening, uh, and there are four units, which means we can yop and the, um, stun grenade, I forget what his, his stun's called, what's it called? Blinding gas. Yes. Um, so this is really a really good move because we use two of my turns to uh, waste four of their turns. So it's like a plus two, in, kind of, um, if you think of it that way. They have high protection, so the vessel's not very good against them. So we're gonna heal up. And she's craving, so she's a higher priority because she can reject heals later on, so we can heal her now. And that's good, he's passive, so he will accept heals as long as he's passive, which means we can heal guaranteed on the next turn. Uh, and then because my attack is down and these guys have high protection, we're gonna bleed it up. Like I said, we'll heal the Plague Doctor now, so um, that should be good. Punish that poo. Uh, can he die? If I stun him, he can die. 80 stun. Resist. 130. 170. And he's dead. Great. <coughs> So I had I had a ten percent chance to fail there, because um, it was a one. He had a, a what do you have? He had eighty stun resist, and I had a one seventy chance to stun. So that's ninety. So what's she gonna do? Is she crazy? Oh boy! Without stress heals, this is a hard dungeon. Um, who needs heals? Healing does. Um, well, if we get a crit, that'd be great. Cause that would also heal her. Um, Shiz, shiz. Uh, do I want a yacht? I don't think so. I think I can kill another guy. Um, I think the Plague Doctor is um, front attack is stronger. Minus 80, minus 90, yeah. So that's why I attacked the guy in the second row to hopefully do it. Yeah, two damage instead of a one damage or a zero damage. Um, just to uh, put on some more damage and hopefully kill this guy in one turn, which we just did. Great. Um, but that was lucky with the critical hit. I don't think I could have done it without a critical hit. Uh, so I was fishing for rolls and for crits. Um, but hey, you gotta play to your, you gotta play the advantage game. You gotta play the, the roll dice, the dice roll. Um, this is how darkest works. Giadine. You know what? I think the crimson curse. It they put it in as a way to combat stall, because if you guys keep if they keep shouting at each other like that and causing each other stress, then like. 
there's no way that you can just like infinitely stall on somebody because you would just break from stress eventually. I guess if you had like a jester or a hound master, like you could mitigate that, but it's like not likely. I think I don't know. I have to test it out, especially at high level, because I haven't done a uh, level five um, crimson court yet. Please don't crit. Okay, cool. So he's dead. And we're gonna, uh, once again, we'll heal the Helion because she's in the front line. Also, I want um, a crit on her, if possible, to give her stress. But that's not gonna do it. Thanks. Okay, we want this. Yeah, so that was a pretty good battle. Um, the double stun definitely worked out. I have never had a good experience. No. Ho, 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 ho. As I was saying, I have never had a good experience with that trinket, but apparently this guy has demon mania. And you know what? I had I was like looking at demon mania, and I was like, you know what? That never procs nothing. And well, would you look at that? Um, so here we go. I think I'm gonna take this off. No, we'll keep that on, because I don't really need Suffer. Um, yeah, so I think the Flagellant, as far as... Uh, what's, what's unfortunate is I think his best teammates are the Jester and the Plague Doctor, but... Uh, oh, dang it. Well, that's okay, I don't need Iron Swan in this battle. Um, okay, and they can all be sent. Um, so I think the Flagellant's best teammates are, and I think she gets crazy, I remember that. Um, no, don't kill yourself. Uh, five. I would need to do three, which is a high roll, and he never gets high rolls. Uh, is it worth trying? I think we had to try because her dodge is high. Okay. And we also have to hit her. Okay. So I, I, it was inefficient, but her dodge was so high that I figured that someone's gonna miss against her. Dang it! Uh -huh. I figured someone was gonna miss against her, so I just had to like go all in. That sucks. Um, one hundred. I have one seventy. Hmm. I think we can kill him with the flagellant and the like doctor. So we're gonna go for it. Okay. It's fine. Ooh. We're not gonna do it yet. We'll wait. No, this is so bad. Does this guy cause stress? I haven't even noticed. Ugh. Stressing me out, that's for sure. Buff me. Oh, because I'm, I'm. I'm hurting. Um. I think we up here, and we stun grenade. Mm. Pawn. Good. Nice. Dude, I swear. I freaking swear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, he's gonna snap for sure. I don't think I have a way to prevent that. He's dead. He's dead. Continually onslaught. Destroy. That eight bleed is insane. He's 
dead. Okay. And we just have to heal this guy to get some crits and stress release. Stress relief. Yeah. And we also have to attack with him to hopefully... Jeez, dude, this stress is really adding up. Mm. Okay, I went for crit there because I want him to release some stress. But it didn't happen. Wow. And as you can see, there is a locked door up ahead. So hopefully the key is somewhere around here. I'm gonna go down here. Because I would bet it's in the that symbol rather than not. You're wasting bro? You're good. Fountain, a burbling fountain squeeze crimson. You know what? I'm gonna take the chance and freaking let's do it. Oh, oh, I'm the best. That might have just like saved me. <laughs> I didn't know what that cure is. I like super honest. Like I have not looked up what cure is yet, which I always forget to. I think I should. Um, but anything, anytime it's like a fountain, like. Um, it's, it's just like holy water works on it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna waste another shovel. Cause, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be here much longer. Just cause of my stress. So, we'll pop it. I don't really have space yet either. We'll pop it. I had some Useless. For a task well performed. I haven't even gotten blueprints, so I can't even like, use my... I, I've gotten one blueprint so far, and that was through a random. No, please, please no. And that was through a random Hamlet um, event. What are you doing? Stop talking. Are you wasting? Oh, just in time too. This should be an easy battle. Um, the leech-looking dudes—they can't be stunned. Go for the kill. Three. Three damage. Three plus six. Eight. Ten. Five. Five. He has to do a five onto the centipede. Um. I think we'll just stun him. And. We'll try to kill one of these guys before they can move. I think he's dead. Oh, by one, by one. Okay. So a pretty bad turn, pretty worst case scenario kind of outcome. Um, I guess not too bad because we did stun the centipede, um, but it was pretty inoptimal. Mm, and now three. So we want a. I think we'll have the flagellant attack him because. Since it's a 3, he does 5 with his bleed, which means he needs to do 7, I think, with his attack. Which I don't think is likely. 80, I'm gonna go for the, another stun. And just let him bleed out, yeah. And then we'll kill this guy. Very good turn. And I think the best move is to... Yes! Perfect! Yay! Yeah, that's why I attacked him, because I'm paranoid that I'm not going to be able to kill him. I think he's dead. No, not yet. Okay. Cool. Alright, yeah. That was a pretty good battle. Not bad. Um, craving... Who is craving? I think Dr.
I want to find the key, and then I want to bounce. Okay. Protection. Cool. We have to kill the, the uh, woman. What's her name? Cortison. Hmm. She gets really crazy. Okay. Maddening line. Not too bad. Can I stun her? Yes, I can. And then we release the protection too. Good. 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 And then this should be dead. Yeah. Perfect. And. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's a pretty good turn, I think. Besides, if only I got this done off before the mosquito got to attack, but I don't think it's really possible because its speed is so high. Oh, okay. Got some blood, bro. Yes, I know. Let me use the blood. Jeez, stop talking. Oh my god. Oh, that looks. The animation for that is so good. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I wish. They didn't have the RNG chance on initial turn. Like it's like if you guys play Pokemon, like um, how you uh, wait. What's the analogy I'm going for? Maybe it's not a correct analogy. It's not. <laughs> Never mind. Um, can I do five? Yes. Um, but yeah, I just wish that like she would waste and then. Like, then it gives you an opportunity to use the blood instead of wasting an immediate um, RNG effect. 100, 130, not worth it. I need a 6 roll. Jeez. Uh, no thirst. No. And because he, his dodge is high, so that's why we have to target him down. Otherwise, I would have targeted the leech. Uh, but he's dead now, because his, his bleed will kill him before he can move again. And this guy is dead. Okay, cool. Uh, and now we get a heal with the Vestal. And it was an okay fight. The courtesan didn't get the son. Courtesan. The woman, she didn't get out of hand um, too much. So that was good. That was the thing that was probably the most threatening in that battle. Man, getting a lot of um, gold. It looks like. Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go left. Because last time it was. The key was down, actually. So I'm gonna go down. It is also a longer hallway, so. Maybe more stuff this way. Man, I really hope I get a key soon. I don't want I don't want nobody to snap. I'm gonna save my shovels because I have two left, and uh, I know I don't really need the gold. I was hurting for gold for a long time because if you, oh yes, okay, not bad, not bad, um, not a bad enemy team, or I mean not a too threatening one. I am a. Mm, I don't know if we want to blind because um, yeah we do. I was, I was considering not blinding because if they protect then if, if he protects her no it's a snap. Let's go. Oh okay. Okay. Man with Crimson Curse and Snap like I just wonder what the chances of getting an attack in is. Okay, no more Iron Swan, which would have been helpful against the Courtesan. Um, this may be bad. Oh, man. Okay, cool. Mm, so we have to play Grenade on the next turn. 
Nice. Okay, now we can hit her with the flagellant. With the punish. And I think she's dead. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Perfect. And 100. I think that's after 180, 155, 175. Okay, I'll take it. I need an 8. Ugh, it's not likely. Yeah. Can't really be mad about that one, because eight, 8 was very unlikely. Don't do nothing. Come on. You're good. We got this. I just really didn't want him to thirst. Or to stress anybody else out. Um, and his stun is, is 120 now, and I think her stun chance was 175, so that's a 55% chance not worth it. I uh, would rather just try to damage him. Since she's, um, she snapped, uh, it's important to keep her HP high because you don't, you never know when they're gonna reject a, um, a heal, and you don't want it to be when it's crucial. So you just want to keep their HP high once they're, um, low. And I'm scared of stalling, um, mechanic coming into play, so do that, we are getting low, and we have tons of bandages, so it's not a problem. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have bandaged, I should have battlefielded. Oh well. I can battlefield myself now. He's dead, right? Yeah, that's cool. Pretty good fight. This expedition Unfortunate about the snap, success. but oh well. And I think the healing does have the highest resist, but yeah, I was expecting the key. Blue key! I think we're on a yellow door, aren't we? Interesting. And what do I drop? We could drop this. I think we do drop this. Is that a... how do I scroll up on the map? Uh-oh. Okay, well we have to go back this way, so hopefully we can get a better angle. A better Kurt angle. <laughs> um... That only took two food? What's wrong with everybody? Am I, am I missing something, or did that only take two food? Oh, I, I yeah, I only have two. Uh, I have two stress fasters. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so we don't need a lot of food either, because he's about to snap. Hmm. Do I go up to the? Because I have a blue key. But I think that's not a blue door. Oh. much exploring. I'm gonna look for... do I look for more keys? I don't know, I can't really look for more keys. I think it's better just to try it out, and if it, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna bounce. Cause he's about to snap, and they aren't too far away from snapping either. Please don't. Okay, cool. I wish, like, <laughs> I feel like a shovel should work, and you just, like, bop him on the head. Um, I'm really hoping that this blue key works. I think the this is a cool like mechanic that they added to the game where it's like you gotta find keys and stuff, but like I think it's like kind of um the penalty for walking backwards is it really hurts that this this exploration. Because the point of keys and locks is to explore and then if you walk backwards it punishes you for making a mistake while exploring. No He's gonna snap. Oh, oh. Okay. 
please work. A lock key. No, yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think we bounce. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I think that will do it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna just continue the uh, letting you guys watch me explore, or maybe I'll come back when I can actually open a door. Uh, just because, I mean, you guys have seen enough of the Crimson Court. Let me know uh, if you guys want to keep just seeing me find the keys, or if you guys don't want to see it again until I uh, open up the next lock. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, really appreciate it. And I'll keep on showing you guys the Crimson Court. And let me know what you guys think of the Crimson Court yourselves. I've been loving it. Um, so I really want to hear what uh, you all think. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you guys later.